Hi everybody, welcome to the Off the Grid Revolution. Today we're here at the Community Garden um, and we're at the uh, Feed the People Garden. Uh, we just wanted to show you some of the things we're doing in the project. Most of our videos have been done at the greenhouse. This is where things go after they come from the greenhouse and some other things that we've been doing. Uh, what we're doing here is raising money for ourselves to eat, uh, to sell for worthwhile efforts like the Community Bill of Rights, uh, and to just feed people. Um, so what I want to do is show you some of the crops and how we've generated them and what you need to do to grow some of this stuff yourself. These plants that we have over here, you see one, two, three, four, five rows, these are potatoes. Now, if you buy organic potatoes, every once in a while what you'll see is that some of the sprouts uh, come out and your potatoes are not worth eating. Those are the ones that you plant. Okay, save those. Each of those little sprouts that come out can be a new potato plant and it will grow five or six uh, nice potatoes. So plant them and then use, you can see we have here lots of leaves. The potato plants need to be covered um, to keep them from turning green. Green potatoes are not good for you. So we use leaves. Uh, the way we collect leaves and what I suggest you do is go around um, on, uh, in the fall and look for yards that appear to have weeds in them. If there are weeds in the garden or in the, uh, in the yards, those are yards that have not been sprayed with Monsanto toxins. There's no Roundup Ready or any of those other poisons. You can get leaves that are organic, that are worth using as mulch for your garden. We put them on the paths and we put them on uh, the potatoes. Um, over here I want to show you uh, a couple of pea, pea plants. There's, there's a pea plant here. Uh, there's a pea plant here. There's a pea plant here. Here's another one. Uh, we planted these much closer together than this, but because we uh, used our own plant, own seeds, own peas from last year, lots of them for some reason didn't germinate. We're going to go through and plant again, and that's just fine. You put them next to a fence. If you're going to plant peas, you don't have to build a trellis. What you can do is plant them against a fence, and away you go. You have pea plants. These are snap peas. Very tasty, very, um, very nice, very easy to grow. So those are potatoes and peas. And over here, we tried an experiment to see if we could transplant potatoes, and lo and behold, we found out we can. We'll see how well that goes to see whether we get any uh, produce from them. Uh, next. We have some trellises where we have beans, 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 and another pea trellis. Um, all of this is stuff that was taken out of dumpsters uh, so that the cost and corporate involvement is zero. You can do that too. And if you take note, we are in the city. There's a building here uh, and a street down, and then there's uh, a house over here uh, and streets down that way. Uh, continues that way. We're in the city right now and look at the size of this double lot garden that we have. Isn't it great? Isn't this it great? is fantastic. Right? Yeah. I love it. So, we use lots of buckets uh, that we got out of a dumpster. Uh, go to a donut shop and look in your dumpster and what you may find is buckets. This one is um, lemon filling. <laughs> That's what that bucket was. Lemon filling. Um, we have garlic that's coming up here. Now, I didn't plant this row of potatoes. I gave it to somebody, and apparently they didn't harvest it properly. When you ha harvest potatoes, you can't just pull up the plant and see what's there. You also have to dig to see what's there. And apparently whoever harvested this just pulled up the plants, and so we got a free crop of potatoes coming up at the expense of whoever didn't uh, harvest them properly last year. Um, unfortunately, though, they're coming up right where we planted our garlic. Ah. Um, garlic and just about any seed can be saved from year to year and planted. If you take a garlic bulb and you break it up, each of those cloves can become a new garlic plant the next year. And so that's what this is. This one here is a garlic plant. This one here is a potato plant. And then we so you have garlic potatoes. There you go, yeah. Here's a row of plants that somebody uh, grew from seed. Um, we have another one over there where that you can see that X thing. That's where our cauliflower is. Uh, we get lot, we planted zucchinis and yellow squashes. Uh, 
these were seeds that were donated from uh, uh, for us. We didn't actually uh, raise these from uh, last year's seeds. We will do that this year. Um, uh, um, there's a, a woman from India, is it Vandata Shiva? Yes. Uh, who believes that saving seeds is the savior, is the way to save the world. Um, I listened to her uh, on um, David Barsamian's um, alternative radio, and I, I agree with her. And ever since I heard her say that, I've been saving seeds to get away from corporate America's seeds. A plug for the library, we have some of her videos in the video collection too. Yeah, and I think that's where I saw it where she talks about saving seeds. Mm -hmm. um, it's not all that difficult to do. Um, the internet has tons and tons of information about how to save seeds. Um, and we, we, we're doing that now. Um, one of the things I like about uh, community gardens is that, uh, especially like this lot, is that there are no rules about how you have to weed and keep things. Mm -hmm. And so we can let stuff grow on its own just to see what comes up. And we get what we call volunteers. Uh, some people refer to them as renegades. Uh, but plants come up on their own. And this tomato plant is an, an example of that. Uh, okay. we, didn't, we didn't plant that, we just marked it so we don't mess it up. That's the, a term you've used in previous videos too. Volunteers and renegades? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so if you go look at the history you'll see some stuff that we did in the greenhouse about this. And one of the reasons we're not at the greenhouse today is because we gave away everything we had uh, to people to plant because they didn't have plants of their own. We gave away probably 2,500 plants this year from the greenhouse. Um, and, and we're so, still in the middle of June. <laughs> we're still in the middle of the June. Yeah, we have one um, uh, place that will donate some plants to us and I have to go out there um, to Colonial Gardens to see what they might be willing to give to the community garden project. They'll be donating basically to, uh, to for stuff across the street. So anyway, potatoes and tomatoes and yellow squash and uh, zucchini squashes and um, mustard greens, spicy mustard greens. They're wonderful. They're absolutely delicious. I'm you, thinking stir fry as I follow you around. I think you should be getting some stuff for stir fry. That'd be wonderful, Joseph. Um, somebody donated some black plastic to us and so we're going to go commercial on some of our crops. Um, we have tomatoes and peppers and um, kale and uh, I'm afraid I'm not hearing you with your back turned. I'm sorry we have tomatoes and kale and peppers and onions and basil and parsley all growing amongst this plastic stuff. Uh, over Jeez. here we have a, uh, a strawberry patch That's a strawberry that's grown the third year, okay? It's not as pretty as a, a, a commercial strawberry, but it's completely organic and... Mm, oh man, it's so juicy. And, mm, those are strawberries. Those it are, looks wonderful. It is. You might pick some of those for your stir fry or maybe for your smoothie. I will. That sounds a great, like a great idea. We had a tree fall off of a branch and it destroyed our uh, black, our, our red raspberry patch. But look at that harvest. Wow. That's wow. going to that's gonna be amazing. That's going to be absolutely amazing. It is. And you know what's nice about doing this kind of stuff is once you get it planted, you can just let it go for the most part. Maybe trellis it a little bit and get more and more every year. Okay, so that's the community garden. Before we finish up, I want to show you one more thing. Take the shot from here, Joe. See those two blue barrels over there? Yes. Those two blue barrels are a water collection system that comes off of the roof and it's designed so that they fill up equally. So we get a hundred gallons of water for free every time it rains. Fantastic. So that's the community garden. Um, there's where we keep the leaves back there. There's where the mulch is donated by the local people who cut trees uh, around here. And that's the garden. Thank so, you, Randy. You're welcome. Bye, everybody.